at our weather tonight with our chief meteorologist Jeff Ranieri starting to cool down a little bit. Oh yes, and I don't know about you guys, but this is uh, kind of the trend that I have been looking forward to all week long. It's just been a little bit too hot here for us outside, and you can see these numbers right now trending anywhere from two to nine degrees colder across the inland valley. So not only fog at the coastline, but we have this cooling trough of low pressure that's now setting up in the Pacific. This is going to hang out all the way through this weekend, ensuring our temperatures uh, get much better for us. Let me get you more details right now in that microclimate forecast, and we'll take a look at our long-range forecast for you as well. And on Thursday, I think the biggest thing for you to know is when you're off on that morning commute, 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning, the fog does look to be a little bit thicker out here. We'll even see some drizzle near the coastline and possibly over our bridges, especially near San Francisco if you're doing that early morning commuting. Then that clears back for the afternoon, except some of that fog hanging out at the beaches. So this will start us off on the cooler side tomorrow morning. We're back down here to 61 in the south. Bay 58 for the peninsula and lots of 50s for you through the East Bay, San Francisco and the North Bay. So a light jacket certainly could serve you well here as you move through the afternoon. Here's the good part. We're going to go 4 to 10 degrees colder. So we're going to see more 80s in the South Bay than 90s. That'll leave us at 87 here in San Jose over to the East Bay. Have you to 87 Fremont 76 in Hayward out to Concord 91 78 in Vallejo coastline 63 Half Moon Bay over to Redwood City. You are at 80 up to San Francisco. 68 in downtown and for the North Bay 82 in Napa. So the numbers are trending downward for tomorrow and I've got more good news for you here. The way things look over the next seven to 10 days, we actually could see not one, not two, but three different areas of upper low pressure here moving throughout the West. Now what this is going to do is not bring us any rainfall, but drop those temperatures starting on Sunday through next week. We're looking at plenty of 80s inland, coolest stretch of weather since back on June the 12th through the 21st. I don't know about you, but I am ready for it. We're good to go. All right, let's check it out here in San Francisco. 60s coming in next seven days. Inland valleys, we start those 80s on Sunday all the way through next week. And for Paris, we got to check it. 82 for tomorrow, and we're up to 94 for that closing ceremony on Sunday. I can't hey, pronounce it, but Jessica was talking about steak and french fries. No, oh, mm. I know. Palm fries. Yeah. Something fancy. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take some of that. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah.